Welcome to a late night edition of Common Man Cocktails. This is a little behind the scenes extra episode. Hopefully this launches Monday night because that's my goal. I just got to edit it over there, upload it. What I wanted to do is cover two products, Grenadine, but they're both Grenadine. They're just two different brands of Grenadine. Now, I'm looking around. I can't find my other one. but So, when it comes down to Grenadine, I get a lot of people asking, why don't you just make it around? It's easy enough. Palm Wonderful, simple syrup, boil it, put it in a in a like a glass bottle, and you're good. Uh, however, that doesn't always work for me because I'm busy and I don't always make the stuff, and it doesn't always come out the right color, and and a whole lot of and ands excuses. It's all really excuses. So at the end of the day, you can make your own. But what I wanted to do is go through um, a couple that I like and a concern I have with one of them. Okay, so we have Fees Grenadine. This is uh, American Beauty Grenadine. Now, I know from experience, because we're selling at AwesomeDrinks.com, which and why and what people are buying, and it's usually because it's driven through me. A lot of people will buy what I buy because I've tasted a bunch of them, I've tasted a bunch of everything, I understand how they pair and what goes well with what, and at the end of the day, thankfully, people either agree with me or they at least do what I ask them to do, which is kind of cool. And so, I told everybody you should get fees. And everybody bought all my fees. All gone. So I was like, this is a real big problem. I cannot get people enough of this product. So I can't get in touch with fees because they're too busy. I go through distributors and they say, you're never going to get in touch with fees. They're too busy. I ordered cases, two cases of Fee Brothers Grenadine, and it didn't arrive. So now it's like two more weeks out. If that, maybe it shows up. Who knows? Fee's Bro Fee Brothers is just being slammed from all of their product lines. Um, not necessarily grenadine. Everybody I ask about grenadine, they aren't really carrying fees as much, but all their other products. And one of the reasons is that that a lot of the higher end places that that want to do business with cocktails and cocktail creation are trying to get as 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 basic back to the basics as possible. And that is kind of where the Stirrings brand comes in, Authentic Grenadine. So this is a small bottle. The ones we sell are 12 ounces, which is about the size of this. So. This is sold out and I can't find it. This is my alternative. And when I think alternative, I think, is it as good? Is it better? Where does it lie? And here we go. So this is the Fees. You'll see Fees is super thick. It's like syrup. It leaves red coating around the edges, right? So you're looking at an extremely syrupy thick product. This is the, the grenadine from Stirrings. It's like any other uh, liquid. It's, it's more like a simple syrup. It leaves a coating, but it's not colored. It's just regular color, and it, it sticks to the edges, but that's it. It's much more uh, natural. I don't know what that is, what makes it so thick, but it's super thick. And with that comes a little additional sweetness, I think. So let's just do a tasting to see. So it's sweet. On par, if I had to go from a scale from 1 to 10 where roses, grenadine is 10, full high fructose corn syrup. This is corn sweetener. I think corn sweetener is not as manufactured as a high fructose corn syrup, but it is sweeter, high fructose corn syrup being the sweetest, so it's 10. I would probably put this at a 6. I wouldn't put it at a 7, 8, or 9 because when you mix it with grenadine, you need a lot of this to get it the same the flavor as a what I like to call a restaurant-grade Shirley Temple. A restaurant-grade Shirley Temple to me is super sweet, bright red. may not be that way for everybody, but that's what I'm used to. So... For, for, for that type of Shirley Temple, I totally would go grenadine. It's cheap, but it's high fructose corn syrup, and it's not really good for the kids and everything. So, whatever. There's really just people who battle in both ways. Now, with the authentic grenadine from Stirrings, it's, it's bare bones, really nice um, sugar coating, and pomegranate. With this, with the fees, you get some, you get almost like this brown sugar sweetness and little mild pomegranate. With the stirrings, this is as close to boiling pomegranate juice and syrup as you can get, or pomegranate juice and sugar cane. These are the ingredients. Okay, let's see, the first ingredient is triple filtered water, yeah. Pomegranate juice from concentrate, water pomegranate ju juice, of course, concentrate, cane sugar, citric acid, which is in everything, I think it's a stabilizer or something, natural flavors, pectin, fruit and vegetables for the color. Um, 
So this is as close to true authentic as you can get. The downfall to this is it needs to be refrigerated because it doesn't have all the preservatives and everything that ones that don't have nutrition facts. Uh, corn, corn sweetener, sugar, water, natural and artificial flavors, citric acid, benzenate, soda preservative. So, oh, and red number 40 and blue number one. These guys say, we don't, screw red number 40 and um, high fructose. Let's go with the way it should be. So it comes down to a... Uh, a religious debate on authenticity. This is authentic because if you sat in a bar in the early 1900s or whenever grenadine really, I don't even know when the year is, but whenever grenadine really started getting put into a cocktail, even at dash quantities or for color or anything like that, this is going to be more like what you would taste. So if you go back to the days of early grenadine, you're going to get pomegranate sweetened product. When you use roses, you get what almost is like a syrupy cherry. With fees, you get more of a brown sugar syrupy syrupiness that's, like I said, a six. This on sh on sweet, I'd say probably like a five, maybe even a four, because it's like simple syrup with pomegranate. I put it into a into a uh, Shirley Temple. It took a lot to put into a Shirley Temple to get to the sweetness I wanted. I don't know how much this is, but pretty much this. And the color is not as dark. It's much. Uh, much more timid. It looks more like a cocktail, actually. It's got more of a, an amber-red uh, color to it. And it brings ginger, when I use a ginger ale, brings that ginger ale and pomegranate together with a sweetener. Not the exact same thing as the roses, but very, to be honest, much more flavor than just being bombarded with sugars. So, I had never had this until I picked it up to try and find what could be better, if not equivalent, to the Fee Brothers, given how hard it is to find. So, really, the Fee Brothers is going to be best, I think, if you're doing a lot of traveling and you've got a bar bag and you're, you know, you're bringing it over a friend's house and you don't have anything to, you don't want to refrigerate or cool anything. This may, may this may be easier because you can just whip it out and use it if you can find it for an affordable price. This, I think, we're selling them for nine bucks for twelve ounces. This, I think, we're selling the same for the big one. Uh, I think it's like nine bucks. Don't quote me on that. Uh, so, for people looking for grenadine now to use in cocktails that we're going to be creating, I'm probably going to be using this. And that is really because this is all I have left to my name. And I'm not buying it on any other website because I'm supposed to sell it. So when I get it in, maybe I'll use it. But this is what the the people who are making fresh cocktails with fresh sour mixes, if they're not making their own personal pomegranates and their own personal bitters, they're probably using something like this. And this is a Stirrings brand um, you can find it on our website, awesomedrinks.com. It's made in Massachusetts, so it's local to me. So I guess something to be proud of. I'm not in New York, so I don't have all the other stuff. They have bitters and all that. So all we get is we get grenadine, but it's a good grenadine. I'm extremely impressed. Again, the only downfall, you've got to keep it in the refrigerator. It will go bad, just like you would with any other simple syrups. Um, they also have simple syrups, so I, I'm going to stock that too for those that don't want to make their own. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you even seeing what the differences might look like um, from a from a thip, thick syrupy red to a, a mild pink, more watery, watery, sugary product. So there we go. We're done here. Go make yourself a tequila sunrise, a Shirley Temple, and follow it up with a shot of grenadine. Don't do anything I just said. We're teaching you how to drink.